All right, folks, we're working on our brushes now and how to hold the brushes onto our main drive shaft. And this is what I've come up with. It's just basically a little chunk of two by two that I've cut off uh, and drilled a centered hole in the, right through it here. This will actually go right over the drive shaft. And let me show you where this will actually go here. And it'll go right here behind and sitting just like that. And each one of these brush blocks, one on the other side, one on this side. And I'm gonna show you real quickly here how this is gonna work. So we're gonna take one of these stainless steel rods and if I can find where the holes are, you'll see I've got one hole. If I line it up, you can see all the way through. One small hole drilled all the way through the block, uh, through the length of it here. And I've got one 8 32nd hole for an 8 32nd screw drilled into the top. And this is our lock screw for our actual brush rod. So when we put the brush rod through, we can actually lock it down right into position and adjust it back and forth as we need to. Uh, the bottom screw, once again, is an 8 32nd screw, and that goes all the way up to our main uh, drive pin here. And that'll actually lock this at any angle we need to adjust it on the main drive pin that we're using for the larger discs. And let me just set that through there real quick, if I can. Give me a second to line that up. Alright, I'm doing this one-handed here. So there we go. That'll actually go all the way through there, just like that. And so that way, once we got that over the main drive pin here, we can set the screw in. It'll hold the brush rod into place. And we can set the lower screw, and that'll actually hold our angle so that we can get our arc on the angle right on either side. Uh, so the next step of this now is going to go ahead, and I'm going to strip out some small copper wire. And I'm going to show you that here in a minute. And I'm going to solder that wire onto the end of the uh, stainless steel rod on either side here. And this will once into place, you won't be able to pull that back out of there until you've actually sanded off the solder and pulled the wires off of one side of here. Once it's in there, it's locked into place, other than the adjustment back and forth by the center screw just to adjust it on the striker plates. So let me go ahead now and uh, get the brushes soldered on, and I'll show you it from there. All right, folks, we're building our brushes now, and I want to show you just what I've done to get the uh, wire I needed. This is a piece of an extension cord wire. You could actually use a thinner gauge wire than this. might be a little too thick. Uh, but I've got pretty thick strikers compared to aluminum foil. So this should work pretty well. And all I've done is pulled the uh, coating off the wire. So you get a bunch of little fanned out bristles like this. And you just twist it. One here, you can see where I've twisted it up. I give it a twist to kind of bind them together at one side. And I'll cut that off right here. So you just cut those off and that will give you your, uh, your fan or your brushes for the end of your connector rods here. And I can show you what I've done is just solder those brushes. I wrapped it around the bar a few times and soldered them on. And that gives me a nice brush. And we'll shape that just a little bit against the wheels once we get it on there. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like when you get both of them done. And right now I just got the two brushes here completed. And you can see what we're going to do now is go ahead and rotate them up into place. If I can get far enough back, you can see the other one. So there we go. We're going to rotate those into place, and those will actually be our brushes. Right now, that's on our center block and ready to go. Uh, I just got to lock that into place once I get the other one done. You've got to put the rod through the block. Do one side, put the rod through the block, and then actually go through and solder the other one. Otherwise, you'll never get it off, uh, back on there. Uh, so there's our brushes being built right now. Uh, something simple to do, you can just solder them on and we'll lock that into place with our set screw there in the center. And our brushes are done. And I'm going to start working on our combs after finishing this last brush. And those will be out of brass or aluminum. And I'm going to kind of check it out and see which one I like more. It'll just kind of be a horseshoe piece that sits over like this. So let me get that done and I'll show you that when we get there. Alright folks, we're working on our combs now, or our pickups, to grab the electrostatic charge being generated on our aluminum plates on our rotating discs. What I have are two small pieces of brass, I've pre-measured these, uh, it's brass rod and I have two little brass uh, spheres here, and they've got the place where the threaded screw hole is. I'm going to take these two uh, little brass rods and I've marked my center on them, probably a little difficult to see there, but you can actually see a little mark. I'm going to use this 2x4, I'm going to put the center mark right in the direct center of the 2x4, and I'm going to fold uh, these down around the 2x4 to create kind of a horseshoe effect out of it. And then I'm going to solder the two balls on, and then we're also going to solder a second rod against that. So let me go ahead and fold one of those, and I'll show you what it looks like. 
All right, I've bent that piece of brass rod now over the 2x4, and really quickly I just set those two brass spheres on the uh, ends of them. And this is what the pickup's going to look like. This will be our comb rod actually sticking, let me show you here, over the sides just like that. Uh, we're going to build some uh, laden jars for this, some large capacitors, and this will actually go directly into the capacitors. We still have to put some brushes off of this, which will be little wires aiming inwards, or combs. They're little points aiming inwards towards those aluminum plates. That one just came off. Uh, but those little brush pieces will be just little fingers, little single pieces of wire actually attached up and down this whole thing. And I'm going to wrap uh, a, a pile of stranded wire around and pull one strand out every now and then after uh, out of the wrap to create these little points all the way down then solder the main wrap right onto the rod and I'll show you that here in a minute all right folks we've got our two brass combs uh, basically put together I still got to put the little wire teeth off of this thing but I've got the rod ready it's all soldered together I've got a little cleanup on the solder drips there uh, other than that it's pretty strong and that should give us if I go up here and show you that should give us a pretty nice comb set up to go across on either side of those plates. And with the teeth coming off of that, that should work really nice. And it should look pretty nice when it's all cleaned up. Get the flux off of the brass uh, and clean that with some sandpaper. This will look like a nice professional model. Instead of building it out of junk this time, I thought I'd just take you through how to build a really nice one. Uh, it's one of those things I've wanted and I've got a four foot in diameter. Uh, one of these being built right now actually at the glass shop taking half inch plexiglass and cutting me a four foot, two of them, four foot in diameter circles, which I'll actually router in. The, the positions here for the aluminum strikers, they'll actually be half inch aluminum strikers that I'm going to put into that half inch piece of plexiglass all the way through. So you'll actually router in all the way through the half inch piece, the same shape as these paddles here, or at least bigger than these for the four footer. Uh, and then I'll actually sh expose the back side of the aluminum out the other side, and then I'll just take a thin piece of eighth inch plexiglass and laminate that over the uh, half inch piece over the back. So really in the end we'll just have two eighth inch pieces as our dielectric between the two striker plates on either side. And I'll show you that once I get that piece and start putting that into uh, production here. And we're going to actually hook that large four footer up to a giant windmill and we're going to have nice cascading sparks, electrostatic sparks coming off of our four foot Wimhurst electrostatic generator powered by wind. And I'll show you how to use that for some really neat science experiments. All right, folks, we're working on our brushes now for our Wimshurst electrostatic generator. Uh, as you can tell here, I've got most of the little wires cross across this. And I want to show you what I did to do that is I just have a single strand of this nice thin copper wire here and I've just wrapped that strand around each spot here three times and then circled it around tied it off on either one so each one of these singular lines is actually three of those little strands going across uh, what I'm gonna do now is take the solder and go ahead and solder each one of these little points on both sides onto the copper rod so they don't slide at all I'm gonna make an initial cut down the center of all those wires and then I'm gonna put it over the discs and actually give myself a little bit of a measurement exactly where I'm going to want to cut them back to to give ourselves maybe an eighth of an inch or so uh, of distance between the end of these little wire tips and our actual aluminum disc face. Uh, that'll allow the plasma to transfer, uh, to build up, and then it'll transfer and arc the electricity from there over to our brushes. And this will actually grab what we're looking for and put it into our laden jars. Uh, which I'm going to start working on after I finish the two of these. Let me go ahead and solder this together. I'm going to make the cuttings down the center of it, and I'll show you it from there. All right, folks, we've completed our pickup brushes. You can tell we've got all the wires now all soldered on on both of them. We've got our ends capped with a nice little brass uh, sphere on there. And I've drilled through at an angle on a large size washer here and just put that into that brass rod through that at an angle so that when that washer sits flat, so will the, uh, the pickups. They'll sit at a horizontal against our uh, disc there. And that will allow me now to attach the top of this washer to the top of our homemade capacitors or laden jars, which we're going to start working on now. Uh, that's our next step. Now that we've got all our brushes, we've got our combs complete, we've got our, uh, our double spinning disc complete, our drive system, we just need a couple capacitors now. We've already got our discharge uh, rods ready to go to attach to the top of those capacitors into the top of these also. Uh, let me go ahead and start building those and I'll show you what we're going to use.